Greetings wonderful audience Amarjit here from Amar PTE classes I hope you all are doing fantastic do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet press on the bell icon for new updates in today's video i am going to discuss listening filling the blanks of different accents accents that are similar with final PTE exam i will share some tips along with examples so keep your notepad and pen ready along with this video before starting the topic i just want to clear one point during audio keep your eyes on screen and pen on the notepad just focus on audio listen carefully and then write carefully sometimes students write correct spellings on the notepad but due to time constraint they type wrong spellings in the blanks so you have to write carefully after completing check your answers i mean proof reading is very important in listening filling the blanks you can spend only two minutes on one paragraph during proofreading check s means singular then es means plural and the ed form means for second form of verb and the third form of verb so let's start the topic we have ignition we have liftoff Let's say you've saved up 200 grand for a trip to space with Virgin Galactic. Lucky you. But are you healthy enough to fly? You'll have to talk with your doctor. A new study in the BMJ outlines the role that general practitioners will have to play in commercial spaceflight. After all, astronauts typically have to be in tip-top shape. But opening the door to the paying public means that less healthy individuals will soon have access to space too. And the stress of spaceflight combined with the negative effects of weightlessness on muscle and bone could cause real problems. It may be up to your personal physician to make the go, no-go call based on your medical history. Among the potential hypotheticals floated in the BMJ study, can my patient with stable angina and a pacemaker for complete heart block participate in a suborbital Virgin Galactic flight? What is the maximum allowable time that my patient with osteoporosis can spend on a planned vacation at a space hotel? There are no official answers, yet, but the study's authors note that such questions may be in the air, or lack thereof, in the not-too-distant future. I hope you note down all the answers so check your spellings in first blank it's outlines in the second it's commercial check your spellings commercial first is outlines outline with s third one is combined based on your medical history Complete heart block participate on a planned vacation. So first is the outlines, then commercial, then combined, medical, participate and vacation. You can check spellings, outlines, commercial with double M. And here it is combined and fourth one is medical then participate and last one is vocation put your cursor in the first blank ladybugs love to snack on aphids and other pests so people began importing an Asian species called the harlequin ladybird as natural pest control but in their new environments the harlequins wiped out native ladybugs and they have their parasites to thank that's according to research in the journal science a parasite called microsporidia lies dormant in the circulatory systems of harlequin ladybirds but when scientists injected microsporidia into a common European ladybug species the insects died within two weeks when the ladybug Bugs were injected with dead microsporidia or a control substance, most survived. Harlequin ladybirds' immune systems, on the other hand, have learned to deal with microsporidia, which lets the insects use them as biological weapons, because one way ladybugs compete is by consuming the eggs and larvae of rival species. When European ladybug species eat the harlequin ladybird eggs and larvae, they also consume the microsporidia and die. The discovery demonstrates an important role of immunity in evolutionary selection, and it shows that there are many ways to lose a food fight 
so in the first it's importing and in second it's systems in the circulatory system here it is no grammar tips only good listening skills can help you to improve in the third one it's survived check your spellings of survived s u r v i v e d next is the weapons consume and last one is demonstrate the discovery demonstrates first one is importing then systems survived weapons consume and last one is demonstrates It's a given that most babies wear diapers, in Western cultures anyway, but diapers may trap more than waste. They may also confine a baby's ability to walk. Scientists compared the walking gaits of 60 babies who were either naked, wore a thin disposable diaper, or a thick cloth diaper. Half the babies were 13-month-old novice walkers and the other half 19-month-old experienced walkers. When the 30 13-month-olds walked naked, only 10 fell. But while wearing the cloth diaper, 21 of them fell, and while wearing the disposable, 17 of them fell. Among the 19-month-olds, only 4 fell while naked or wearing disposables, while 8 fell while wearing cloth diapers. But both age groups took wider and shorter steps while wearing diapers, as opposed to walking naked. The research is in the journal Developmental Science. The study can't predict if wearing diapers has a long-term impact. Nonetheless, the researchers believe walking naked would speed up walking development. But then we are left with the issue of covering the entire house in plastic and relying heavily on the child's ability to communicate his or her elimination intentions. Now in the first, it's a baby ability. In the second, it's experienced E X P E R I E N C E D and in the third one it's opposed in the fourth one it's development and in the last it's communicate first is the ability to walk next is the experienced because you can check the line here it is half the babies were 13 month old walkers and the other half 19 months old from here you can guess we will use second form of verb here now in the next it is opposed and walking development and last one is communicate Unless you're at a Chaucer convention, speaking Middle English is not going to impress a potential romantic partner in 2013. Similarly, male savanna sparrows have to make sure their vocalizations are up to date. Researchers analyzed three decades of recordings of male savanna sparrows, and birds that changed their tune over the years did better with the ladies. The research is in the journal Animal Behavior. While introductory notes of the sparrow song stayed the same, the middle and end parts changed over time. In the 1980s, songs concluded with longer, high-pitched trills. More recent songs contain a series of clicks in the middle and a shorter, low-pitched trill at the end. Researchers found that the male sparrows that adopted the newer songs had higher rates of sexual reproduction, because you don't want to be seen as behind the times. Indeed, Chaucer might have had his pick of the ladies in the 14th century, but few today can make heads or tails of his tails. So in the first, it's a potential romantic. 
in the second researchers analyzed you can write analyzed with s or z decades of recordings concluded contain in the next it's adopted and in the last it 14th century first is romantic researchers analyzed because here it is three decades of recordings concluded contain a series of clicks adopted the newer songs and last one is the century here you can write analyzed with z and s also In planet formation, as in adolescence, you've got your late bloomers, such as the case for a nearby star called TW Hydra. At some 3 million to 10 million years of age, it's relatively old for a young star. That is, TW Hydra formed much more recently than our sun, but is past the point at which most fledgling stars are still encircled by a massive disk of gas and dust, the stuff of planet formation. But a new analysis shows that TW Hydra retains a surprisingly hefty circumstellar disk, implying that the star could still be forming giant planets. The study appears in the journal Nature. Researchers from the U.S., Germany, and the Netherlands pointed the European Space Agency's orbiting Herschel Space Observatory at TW Hydra to investigate the star's disk. They detected levels of a heavy hydrogen molecule called hydrogen deuteride. From that measurement, they were able to estimate the abundance of ordinary hydrogen, which makes up the bulk of the disk. The result? TW Hydra still has enough raw material left to make 60 Jupiters or so, despite its maturity. For aging stars, then, perhaps 10 million is the new 30. In the first plan, it's nearby. In second, it's formed. In the third, it's massive. In the fourth, it's implying. I M P L Y I N G. In fifth one, it's pointed. In sixth, it's detected. Seventh, measurement. Check your spellings of measurement. And in the last one, it's despite. So here there are total eight blanks in the paragraph. You can check your spellings. Nearby, then formed, then massive, implying, pointed, detected, measurement, and despite. Roosters greet the rising sun with But they also crow at other times. So are they responding to the light? Or do they simply know that it's morning? New research says the latter. Roosters crow because of internal time cues. The finding is in the journal Current Biology. Scientists controlled the light levels in rooster habitats. For two weeks, the birds experienced 12 hours of light followed by 12 hours of dim light. Consistent with the pre-dawn noises observed in wildfowl, the roosters began to crow about two hours before their rooms lit up. Then, for two weeks, the roosters lived in constant dim light, yet they continued to crow about once a day, at intervals of 23.7 hours, to be precise. Even without morning light, their circadian rhythms told them when dawn should be breaking. The birds also crowed in response to sudden light and to the sounds of other roosters, but they were more likely to react when those stimuli occurred near dawn, showing that you can't really keep a rooster in the dark about the time. In the first blank, the answer is responding. In second, it's controlled. In third, consistent. 
constant in next it's crowd i think it's crowd next is occurred we can check here yes it's crowd first one is responding second is controlled scientist controlled the light levels next is the consistent with the pre dawn noises next is the constant dim light next is crowd in the response to sudden light and last one is occurred in occurred students got confused with double r or single r if you are writing occur then it's a single r but if you are writing occurred means second or third form of verb then you have to make sure there are two r means o double c u double r and e d Advertising and media companies often get lobbied to use models that represent the average woman's body, rather than ultra-thin models whose images may influence some women to have an unhealthy relationship with food. Now, a study supports the idea that observed images affect what people consider to be acceptable body types. The report is in the journal PLOS One. Researchers surveyed subjects about their opinions of their own bodies and those of others. Then they presented the subjects with photos of large or thin women. Some photos were of beauty queens in evening gowns or other high status clothing. Other photos were of women who were either very large or very thin, wearing just a neutral gray leotard. Following those viewings, the subjects were again surveyed about their body preferences. Subjects who originally preferred thin bodies only increased their preference for thinness after being shown photos of thin women. But they decreased their preference for thin bodies after being shown photos of larger women. And the attire of the women in the photos made no difference to the subject's latter preference. The researchers say that this study provides strong evidence that images of female bodies promoted by the media and ad agencies could have, indeed, a real impact on women's preference and subsequent thoughts about body type. First is the represent. It's so simple. First is re, then present. Unhealthy relationship. in the third one their opinions from there you can guess here there is a plural opinions in the next it's a wearing sorry it's v e a r i n g wearing then decreased promoted and in the last one it's real impact you can check your spellings as well first is the represent relationship opinions wearing decreased promoted then impact on women's preference When summer hits, I dread jogging outside, but a study finds that elephants can be in true danger in the heat. As creatures get bigger, they have smaller surface area to body volume ratios. Fully grown Asian elephants thus pack a lot of mass into a body with a relatively small surface area, and surface area limits how much body heat you can dissipate. For the study, two female elephants in the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans walked around a half mile track under various conditions. The outdoor temperature during these sessions ranged from a chilly 8 degrees Celsius to a scorching 35 degrees. Sunny, hot days were the worst. The already limited hide is now itself heated by the sun. With the equivalent of a busted radiator, the elephants retain 56 to 100 percent of their body heat internally, which could make a mere four hours of exercise fatal. The research on elephant exertion is in the Journal of Experimental Biology. Fortunately, elephants have ways to beat the heat, shift activity to after dark, and, of course, go for a dip.
so in the first blank the answer is creatures and in the second end surface area limits during these from these word you can guess here there will be a word with the plural or you can say uh, with s so here it is sessions now it's here the with the we will always use the noun equivalent and in the last one it's exercise so in the first it's creatures limits sessions equivalent and last one is the exercise so in this blank there are three words with the s first one second and the third one check your spellings of equivalent then exercise sessions with double s creatures and limits People with asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and other breathing disorders need fast relief when their airways tighten up. Unfortunately, the most commonly used medication has obnoxious side effects. But scientists recently discovered that a bitter taste can be a more effective treatment, and now they know why. Why? The work is published in PLOS Biology. When an asthma attack hits, the airway shrinks and makes breathing difficult. To keep air flowing, the sufferer must take medication to relax the passage's muscles and open it back up. But a couple years ago, researchers discovered airways contained bitter taste receptors like the ones on the tongue. After exposure to bitter substances, the receptors can expand the airway more quickly and more effectively than the most commonly used treatment. Researchers examined airway tissue to learn why bitterness makes the muscles relax. During an asthma attack, calcium flow So I think there is some issue in the audio. In the first one, we will try again. ...flows into the cells of the airway and contributes to muscle contraction. But bitter substances block the channels that allow calcium into cells, which relaxes the tightened tissue. And that's the opposite. People with asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and other breathing disorders need fast relief when their airways tighten up. Unfortunately, the most commonly used medication has obnoxious side effects. But scientists recently discovered that a bitter taste can be a more effective treatment, and now they know why. The work is published in PLOS Biology. When an asthma attack hits, the airway shrinks and makes breathing difficult. To keep air flowing, the sufferer must take medication to relax the passage's muscles and open it back up. But a couple years ago, researchers discovered airways contained bitter taste receptors like the ones on the tongue. After exposure to bitter substances, the receptors can expand the airway more quickly and more effectively than the most commonly used treatment. Researchers examined airway tissue to learn why bitterness makes the muscles relax. During an asthma attack, calcium flows into the cells of the airway and contributes to muscle contraction. But bitter substances block the channels that allow calcium into cells, which relaxes the tightened tissue. And that's the opposite of a bitter pill. Examined. And in the last one is channels. So in the first is disorders, in the second is treatment, in third one it's muscles and here it is receptors. From this line you can check your spellings of receptors, receptors in this one line also, R-E-C-E-P-T-O-R-S receptors. Now here it is substances, from substances you can check your spellings here, means your two words are here in the blanks. And here it is examined and last one is the channels. So listen carefully because sometime the answer is in the paragraph. Disorders, treatment, muscles, receptors, substances, examined and last one is channels. Oh. <laughs>
A lot of people just don't feel quite human without that morning cup of coffee. Now a study finds that the enhanced sense of well-being that caffeine can cause is reflected in our perception of words. Specifically, caffeine increases the ability to recognize words associated with positive thoughts, but doesn't quite provide the same boost for words with negative or even neutral associations. The research is in the journal PLOS One. Scientists assigned 66 subjects to one of two groups. Half got a 200 milligram caffeine tablet, a dose equal to almost three cups of coffee. The other half received a sugar tablet. 30 minutes later, the volunteers were shown strings of letters and had to decide as fast as they could if a string formed a word or was just gibberish. The volunteers recognized words with positive associations much, much faster than either negative or neutral words. Others studies have shown that positive words tend to be recognized more quickly, but the caffeine increases the gap. So next time you wake up with a grumpy sweetheart, your compliments might be appreciated more. If In the first, it's enhanced. If they have a cup of coffee Associated. First. So here it is associations. Now here this is associated with the ED form. Scientist assigned 66. From 66 you can guess here we will write the plural subjects and in next one it's received recognized you can check your spellings of recognized from here also R E C O G N I Z E D recognized and last one is appreciated a double P R E C I A T E D. Check your spellings. Enhanced. Associated. You can check your spellings from associated here. Subjects from 66. You can guess we use word here with plural. Received. Recognized. Check your spellings of recognized from here. And last one is appreciated. What's the first thing you do when you get to a hotel room? Turn on the light, kick off your shoes, and turn on the tube? If so, congratulations! You've likely just made a quick tour of the places in the room that harbor the most bacteria. Sure, there are a lot of bacteria in the bathroom, but that's not the hottest spot for bugs. Some of the highest concentrations of microbes were on the light switch, the carpet, and the television remote. The findings were presented at the American Society for Microbiology's 2012 general meeting. The researchers sampled 18 surfaces from nine hotel rooms in three different states. They found that 81% of those surfaces had at least some fecal bacteria on them. But of course, not all of these bugs are going to make you sick. The study was in part to help inform cleaning protocols. Some hotel chains are already pledging to keep their properties a little more germ-free. So your next day might be a little cleaner. Just don't investigate CSI style with a black light. You'll never be able to sleep. In the first one, it's places. Second is concentrations. It's concentrations. The findings were presented. Presented of those surfaces from those word you can guess there will be a word with s surfaces their properties from there you will write here is plural word properties because there is a plural properties and last one is investigate 
check your spellings first one is places concentrations presented surfaces properties last one is investigate I think what what is the most remarkable about Dexter is his capacity for stress management. Michael C. Hall in a conversation. About his TV character at the Ruben. We will try again it. It will take some time. In the Museum of Art in New York City on October 24th, he spoke with psychologist Kevin Dutton, author of The Wisdom of Psychopaths. And, and I think that's, that's because of his ability to, as the heat goes up, his Absolutely. internal temperature goes down. Yeah, he, yeah. He, the, the crazier things get, the cooler he feels. He almost craves chaos. He, he seems to attract it. Cultivate it, mm. encourage it, because it's the only thing that somehow soothes him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very realistic, actually, because what you find is it, that the more chaotic a situation, the more that psychopaths have to make decisions under pressure, uh, the better their decision making gets and we've seen it with Dexter the more that the, the pressure builds the cooler he gets and that is exactly what you see with psychopaths it really is I think what, what is the most remarkable about Dexter is his capacity for stress management. Michael C. Hall, in a conversation about his TV character at the Rubin Museum of Art in New York City on October 24th, he spoke with psychologist Kevin Dutton, author of The Wisdom of Psychopaths. And, and I think that's, that's because of his ability to, as the heat goes up, his Absolutely. internal temperature goes down. Yeah, he, yeah. He, the, the crazier things get, the cooler he feels. He almost craves chaos. He, he seems to attract it, cultivate it, mm. encourage it, because it's the only thing that somehow soothes him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very realistic, actually, because what you find is it, that the more chaotic a situation, the more that psychopaths have to make decisions under pressure. Uh, the better their decision making gets, and we've seen it with Dexter, the more the, the, the pressure builds, the cooler he gets. And that is exactly what you see with psychopaths, it really is. So in the first plank, it's capacity. Second is conversation about his TV character. Third one, it's internal temperatures goes down. Realistic, check your spellings of realistic. And last one is the exactly. Beneath its adorable exterior, is your cat hiding the heart of a killer? Researchers now estimate that each year, domestic cats kill billions of birds and mammals in the United States alone. The report is in Nature Communications. We already knew that domestic cats can wreak havoc on islands, causing 14% of species extinctions and ranking as one of the world's 100 worst invasive species. But now, scientists have reviewed previous studies to find just how much damage cats do on the mainland. 
Cats kill some 1.4 to 3.7 billion birds and 6.9 to 20.7 billion small mammals in the U.S. each year. These numbers mean that felines may be the biggest human-related cause of death for American birds and mammals. And cats tend to prey on native species, which can cause major ecosystem damage. The worst feline killers are those without owners, and reducing feral cat populations is an ongoing problem. But you can still reduce the impact of domestic cats by keeping your pet indoors, thus leaving the neighborhood a little less red in tooth and claw. <laughs>
now in the first blank the answer is interior i n t e r i o r interior so the answer of the second blank is here curiosity with capital c because mars here mars is with capital m so we write here curiosity r i o s i t y curiosity at a conference and in the next it's measuring in the next it's proving and in the last one it's complexity so answer of one blank is here curiosity with capital c conference measuring proving complexity and first one is the interior medicinal tablets are nothing new doctors have been dispensing pills for thousands of years and now archaeologists have turned up some of those ancient medicines which were preserved in a shipwreck for close to two millennia the second century Pozzino wreck was discovered in 1974 off the coast of Italy. Its cargo included medical equipment like a cupping vessel, iron probe, and tin boxes of supplies. And in one of those boxes, researchers recovered five gray tablets. Now they've analyzed the antique medication. The work is in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The pills primarily contain zinc compounds, probably the active medicinal ingredients, but researchers also detected starch, pollen, charcoal, fats, and linen fibers. Those fibers help the tablets hold their round, loaf-like shape, which may be the key to the medication's use. The Greek word, meaning small round loaves, also inspired the word calerium, or eyewash. The pills were probably either dissolved in liquid or ground into a powder and used to treat eye conditions. Who knows, maybe Hippocrates used them on his pupils. So in the first blank answer is ancient, in the second was with was we use ed form discovered, then thin boxes of supplies, medication, the pills primarily contained and last one is inspired. So let's check me. Ancient, discovered, supplies, medication, contained and last one is inspired kids today may be more familiar with the sound of a rushing highway than a rushing river but imagine that the internal combustion engine could be set aside and we could design the soundscape of our future what oral environment would you choose for traffic for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the answer is that new cars should sound like old cars. Hybrid and electric vehicles can be so quiet that people outside the vehicle can't hear them. So these two quiet cars will be required to sound something like this. The Obama administration wants a million electric vehicles on the road by 2015. Slow sales of cars like the Chevy Volt and Tesla Model S may keep that number from being reached, but there are still hundreds of thousands of EVs and hybrids on the road today. It's hoped that the new rule will help prevent thousands of pedestrian and cyclist deaths. But the rule also hews to a possibly outdated tradition, like people who set their cell phone ringtone to sound like an old rotary phone. And it's wasting a chance to reimagine what our cars, roads, and even cities could sound like. In the first, the answer is familiar. In the second, it's design. In the third one, it's required. In the fourth one, keep that number. Second last, pedestrian. Check your spellings of pedestrian. P-E-D-E-S-T-R-I-A-N. And last one is tradition. Check your spellings, familiar, design, required, number, pedestrian, tradition. Only three blanks are left. When you don't clean your plate, 
Microbes feast, and Americans are awfully good at feeding microbes, wasting some 222 million metric tons of food every year. That's a quarter of our food. Much of that wasted food ends up in garbage dumps, turned by microbes into methane, a powerful greenhouse gas and one of the primary culprits behind global warming. Now government officials in Massachusetts would like to ensure that restaurants, universities, hospitals, and other large institutions don't exacerbate that problem. The idea is to make sure all that wasted food doesn't end up in landfills, but instead becomes either compost or energy. The same microbes that turn food into methane in a landfill can turn food into methane in a biodigester, and that methane can then be used as a fuel. More importantly, from the Bay State's perspective, it will keep the state's landfills from filling up. Of course, the methane from landfills can also be harvested, and often is. And as the Pilgrims knew, it would be even smarter not to waste the food in the first place. But let's give thanks for another helping of new ways to curb climate change. In the first wasting, then primary, institutions, perspective, and harvested. From here you can check universities, hospitals, so we write here institutions with S. An Arctic storm tore a drilling rig loose from its tow ship and forced it aground near Alaska's Kodiak Island this week. Just a few months ago, the rig and another began preliminary drilling of the first offshore oil wells in the Arctic. Shell's efforts to drill in the Beaufort and Chukchi Seas have been plagued by problems, but that's just part of the cost of doing energy business in this new era. Consider drilling rig operator Transocean, which agreed to pay the U.S. government $1.4 billion this week for its part in the disastrous three-month-long blowout in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. Meanwhile, the thirst for oil drives the mining of tar sands in Alberta and the flooding of old wells with steam or CO2 in California and Texas. And, of course, there's the accelerating accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from all that fossil fuel burning. The resulting climate change is part of what makes drilling for oil offshore in the unfreezing Arctic possible, just as it has opened once mythical shipping routes such as the Northwest and Northeast passages. That's a positive feedback loop with negative consequences. Efforts, energy, drives, accumulation, A double C U M U L A T I O N, resulting consequences. Check your answers in spellings. This is the last one. Sharing is one of the hallmarks of human behavior. Give me a cookie and I'm more likely to give you one later. But our bonobo cousins have an odd variation on the practice. They share with strangers before friends. The findings in the journal PLOS One. Researchers tested bonobo sharing in experiments involving 14 of the apes. All were born in the wild. In the primary experiment, bonobos were placed in a cage with food, and they could choose to admit either a known member of their group, a stranger, or both. In 51 trials, most bonobos shared the feast, but they let the stranger in first. Why choose an outsider over a friend? In another experiment, the scientists found bonobos only shared when doing so led to a social interaction. Giving up some food to strangers lets these apes expand their social network. This behavior may have evolved to promote social tolerance, in contrast with chimps' sometimes deadly aggression against strangers, which means that even when food is off, offered, there's still no such thing as a free lunch. So in the first plan, the answer is behavior, then involving, admit, interaction, promote, and last one is the promote. So this is all about today's video. For more details, you can follow my channel. And if you have any queries, then you can write in the comment box. For online and offline classes of PTE Academic and PTE Core, you can contact me. My number is given in the caption. Thank you so much for liking this video. 
and don't forget to share these videos thank you so much